Today is Thursday, the 6th of February 2020. I am Vlad and today I will be streaming Bitcoin Bounce by Thunder Games, which is a game that has taken this gaming community of Bitcoiners by storm, specifically because you are able to stack some Satoshis after you play. And it's also about skill and how well you manage to do, as at the end of the day, depending on your high score, you will be rewarded a certain amount of Satoshis. And I'm going to show you, I will be playing this on my iPhone. And I will show you right here on the big screen to see what the game is really like. So you are able to see my full screen. You can see that my best score is... Uh, I should turn off notifications some way or the other. Anyway. Please, Joe Rogers, just, just let me live stream. Also, the music that we will be listening to is by George Gershwin, whose works have entered the public domain in 2018 because he died in 1938. So in most countries, using the music of George Gershwin is just free. So let me adjust the volume here. And also, before I start streaming and playing this awesome video game which allows you to stack some Satoshis, maybe that it would be a good idea to let everyone know on Twitter and on Telegram that I have began this stream. So, let me copy this link. Just a little patience and I'll tweet about it. So, watch me play. Bitcoin Bounce on, no, by Thunder Games on Twitch. And I paste the URL and tweeted. Okay, but shouldn't the link be specific here? Uh, whatever. Also let people know on Telegram. So Jack from Thunder Games wants to know if the stream will be saved so he can watch it later. Yes, it will. At least for two weeks it will still be around here. And you get to listen to George Gershwin, which is also nice. You can hear his music in Woody Allen's film, what's the name of it? Manhattan? I think that's the one. Unfortunately, Thunder Games does not have any kind of music, at least to my knowledge. But I've been playing this for the past week and it can get addictive. At first it seems dumb. You'll be thinking, so this is it, this is that big... Bitcoin video game that we have been expecting as a killer app and something to bring some mainstream adoption and get people excited about what Bitcoin can do. But actually, the more you play this, the better it gets. And there are so many power-ups and incentives to keep going. And the point of this, obviously, is to make a high score and be better than the rest of the world. Ah, so I just lost. But when I lose, I can watch a video. And I get the reward in 28, 27 seconds. I'm not going to hit anything. This is just a nad that I have to watch to get a second chance to get a high score. And if I suck at this game, I will only get 25 Satoshis for my attempt. But if I do better, then I might just get a few thousand depending on how well the other players around the world do. So, I'll do my best, you know. I think it's in my best interest to... Okay, so I got my second chance for watching the ad. It's in my best interest to do well. Uh, I was so close. So, 1935, which was very close to my high score of 2068. So I'll try again. 
unfortunately or I don't know if I should call it like that but the game is still in beta which means that you have to go on on my iPhone I had to download test flight I think that's the name of the application that allows you to test apps that are not yet officially launched so I downloaded the app in that environment and it works pretty well I haven't found any major glitches I may not be a hundred percent happy with the controls sometimes they sle seem a bit not unresponsive but sloppy but once you get used to it you get that kind of precision that's required when you play this kind of game whoa ah now I'm not gonna watch another video screw that so I have 37 tickets and with these what can I do this is my balance and tickets are entered into the next draw automatically okay so the prizes range from 5,000 Satoshis and that's the biggest one to 25 so I suppose that's why I got 25 most of the times because I did not have a lucky ticket so I want to claim these 25 Satoshis that I just earned and I think this is the most important part because how can you distinguish between something that appears to be a virtual currency within a game from real bitcoins that you withdraw to your wallet and that's exactly the distinction that you have to make and you have to click claim and it takes you to blue wallet and I take 25 satoshis I create the invoice which is generated automatically and now it's gonna get paid poof that's it 25 satoshis just went into my balance now you can see how many sats I have in my lightning wallet so there goes my financial privacy but anyway let's try again or try at first I wasn't sold on the game I just played it and said to myself this is not really a killer rap uh, I would rather play that Mario clone on Satoshi's games but once you play this for like five or six times it gets very addictive and you just want to do good to do a better job at playing this it reminds me of that Nokia video game that I used to have on my second mobile phone which was a Nokia 2600 and it was called bounce and you are playing with this red ball and it was a puzzle game of exploration and also skill because you had to stay alive for as long as you could to figure out what you have to do to beat the game and I remember I actually beat it because at the time I was playing lots of video games I had lots of spare time in middle school so yeah this game reminds me of that one but there's a very big difference in controls because you don't control when you jump you control when you want to drop so you're basically in charge of the precision of your interaction with these platforms if you like the music just so you know you're not the only one as I've been a fan of Gershwin for a long time and it's always nice when you find classics that will not get banned by Twitch or YouTube or any other streaming platform because the artist okay 1498 let me watch a video because my high score is higher than this and I want to do good and it's interesting that the ads are in Russian I wonder why five seconds four three two one get ready Vlad this portion takes a lot of precision for your jumps you have to time them accordingly and understand what the power-ups that you're getting actually do or else you're 
Ah, screwed, just like I was here. So this is my new best score. 2310. So, since I beat this high score, let me check the chat. There are two people watching, so hi guys. And I have no questions, but if you want to know where you can get the game, I'm going to paste this here. Wait, where was it? It's on the Thunder Games page. And the R. So if you want to download the game, you will not find it in the app stores yet. But I have copied the link and you, you will find the links in here. Just look at this tweet and see which version you, you will be playing with your phone. Now let's get back to the live stream and play some more of this game because I want to do my best score possible and also listen to George Gershwin. Sometimes I think that these live streams are a good excuse for me to be creative with music because obviously I cannot play stuff that is copyrighted. So I have to look for classics that are in the public domain and can be actually played during live streams. And this also gives me sort of a relaxed, classy type of atmosphere while playing. I wish I could play some Iron Maiden while playing this game, or I wish this game had some music of its own. So, Thunder Games, if you're looking for someone to compose the music for Bitcoin Bounce, then you should contact me and commission me to write some songs for this. And I suppose I can make something very kick-ass, like a loopy track that's going to be playing all throughout your struggles and possibly transition from one section to the other so that you feel like the battle with spikes and platforms is getting more tense. So yeah, I can write music too. If you want to know what kind of stuff I do, just listen to my podcast, Bitcoin Takeover. And the theme song that you hear in the first 20 seconds is written, recorded, and played by me. Unlike some other Bitcoin podcasters, I don't fake knowing how to play instruments. I'm actually classically trained in music. My parents wanted me to play the piano, so they took me to a music school in my first few years. I think I did piano for four years and in my teenage years I started learning guitar by myself and I still play. Sometimes I buy effect pedals just to have fun because I like sounds and they stimulate my brain and make me feel better about this otherwise terrible life that we are living. Not necessarily life but world. You have to accept a lot of realities. Okay, I'm, I'm doing terrible, terribly, as I talk too much about unrelated stuff. And this makes me wonder, is there any video game where platforms and spikes are not your worst enemies? Worst, not worse. But are there any games where you don't have to fight against spikes and try to jump in the right spot? on a platform. Obviously there are games that are not platformers, but most of them do have some sort of jumping. Unless it's some sort of Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, but I think also that one has some jumping. There was an ongoing meme about Zelda games that Link cannot jump, and that's something that the latest iteration which I think is called Breath of the Wild, was able to fix. And I've played quite a bit of that one. I wish you could also earn some Satoshis by playing Zelda games, but who knows, maybe Nintendo is watching this and saying there's a lot of growth potential in this Bitcoin gaming sector, so why don't we become the first major video game company to embrace this movement. Actually, that's why I'm here. That's why I'm doing these live streams as I'm not getting paid for this, but I do enjoy looking for stuff that will bring Bitcoin 
to the masses. I mean, this is a very nice use case. This is a good purpose for which we should be developing on Bitcoin and Lightning to make video games more attractive and give real incentives to actually get good at playing video games. I also look forward to Light Knight by... I was about to say Satoshi Labs, but that's a different venture. By Satoshi's Games. As Light Knight is going to be basically a Fortnite clone. Where defeating other enemies is going to help you stack Satoshis, which is very nice. And I think right now... I'm on a roll and will be setting a new high score for myself, which has been the purpose of this live stream in the first place. And I'm impressed with myself that I'm able to do such a good job while I speak about unrelated topics. So if you're curious about the song that played before, that was Rhapsody in Blue by George Gershwin. And this is called The Man I Love, also by George Gershwin. And I'm not sure about his sexuality, but... Who am I to care about it? So, 3817, this is my new high score. I can watch a video, and I want to watch a video because I want to get a better high score. And I'm going to watch these people just stand there in the rain feeling cold. And I'm not going to give them a tent or an umbrella because I'm a terrible person and I don't want these ads to fill my phone with adware or malware or whatever. In seven seconds I will be able to resume my game and possibly do a few more points so that my high score gets improved. So I get to retry. Oh no! What have I done? <laughs> So I did not continue, I, I started over and I watched an ad for that. I hope you do enjoy this monetization, Thunder Games. I just died stupidly. <sighs> so let me retry. What I like about George Gershwin, and I feel like I speak too much about the music that I'm listening to right now, but I can't help it. But what I like about him is that he has these orchestral arrangements that are very imposing, very big. And at the same time, gives you that positive vibe and feeling of early 20th century America. Where they were building skyscrapers and they were trying to develop as a nation after at least the First World War, when they had a tremendous economic development. Actually, when did America do bad? They never lost the war. I mean, okay, you can say Vietnam or whatever, but... That wasn't a major loss, it's not like it was invaded and had 50% of its landscapes and monuments destroyed, like, for example, Warsaw in World War II. And I'm not even sure it's 50%, but it's a very large percentage. I should try to get good, man, get good. It's also random, sometimes you get easy levels, and it's just a piece of cake to get far into them and other times look I already have spikes I do have a shield that's going to protect me once against these spikes also got the thunder which gives me this nice boost You know what would be very nice about this? If this Bitcoin logo actually drew a graph, like a price graph, with the action. 
and along the way you, you could be able to see how many times you went up and how many times you went down and this was like a climb like a progression maybe that's an idea for a next game by Thunder Games Ah, 687. Screw it. Let let's watch a video. This brings them some ad revenue. I get to have a 24 second break, and let me check the chat to see if any if any of you guys have said anything. So not yet. On Twitter, it's kind of quiet. But Bill Boss wished me a good luck. Thank you, Bill. Okay, so let's get back to work. Focus, Vlad. Just do a good job. If you guys know of any other Bitcoin video games, just let me know. I will gladly play them. So in hindsight, I, I did not do so well, but I'll try again. I have no idea what happened there, but I got saved. I, I can see that precision gets awarded, so if you land on one of these white icy platforms you'll get more points which is a good incentive if you get good at this game then you're going to have greater expectations in regards to how well you do at it so it makes a lot of sense Personally, I'm not sure if I prefer this over Super Bro on Satoshi's Games, which is a clone of Super Mario Brothers. But then again, I'm very biased in this sense, but whatever. Super Mario Brothers is one of my favorite games of all time. And uh, that, that was so unfair. It's hard for me to appreciate something that resembles Bounce and possibly... What other games are like this? Is there a genre for this type of platforming? Where you have to jump with precision or else you fall into a pit and it's game over? I feel like Mario is partially in that category but it has more of a challenge to fight enemies and get power-ups. And I'm not saying that you don't have enemies and power-ups here. You have these spikes that can be your worst enemies and the pitfalls that are also terrible. And you have power-ups like that thunder which gives you a nice boost in terms of distance and you can avoid lots of obstacles and dangers along the way like this. But I don't know what about this game doesn't make it feel so satisfying. Maybe it's lacking some sort of badass soundtrack. Maybe it needs some sort of messages on screen to tell you when you're doing awesome and create a system of combos to let you know, for example, if... I mean, I can see that points get added depending on how well you do, but it would be nice to stimulate you along the way and say, oh, this is awesome. That This is a streak if you have jumped on these platforms for a nice sequence, like 10 times in a row. To get a precision bonus that 
is also satisfying on screen that you can see. Whatever, I'm not going to watch anything. Let me retry. Oh man, I just hate it when this happens. Now I have to watch an ad, but I'm going to close it because I don't want to restart the game from there. It was so early in the level that it just makes more sense to restart and not waste that time watching the ad. Anyway, at the end of the day, there will be a draw like a lottery draw and I have 255 tickets that allow me to participate in this and I can get 25 satoshis, 50, 75, 100, 150, 200, 300, 400, 500, 1000, 2000 and the big prize of 5000 satoshis. So yeah, I can read the terms here. Yeah, it takes me to a window that I don't want to open. Okay. I can see this becoming popular, but I, I like the graphic style, I like the controls once you get used to them, but once again, I think it needs something to make it look cooler, like messages on screen when you're doing a combo or clear incentives for having streaks and I've said this before but I just think these elements will elevate its visual appeal and I think there should be more power-ups there should be more enemies like Maybe I didn't get far enough, but I would like to see something like fireballs just coming from below and trying to take you down or meteorites and stuff like that and have protections against them. At this point, it, it seems kind of raw, kind of basic. I know that it's still in beta and I'm judging it according to these criteria, but it can get so much better. I can see so much potential in this. It has the Bitcoin logo as your player, which is very nice from the very beginning. And you know what else can help boost Bitcoin adoption? Drawing some kind of graph that you can see at the end of your game so that it looks like price action. And so it tells you a message like, in your run, Bitcoin has performed like this. And if you do a lot of points, of course, it will look more bullish. Uh, and if you do poorly, you can get something like a message which says you have crashed the price of Bitcoin. I mean, there are so many smart ways that don't necessarily need a lot of tweaks, but will give this some sort of context and story and make it more appealing so that it doesn't get so repetitive. So this song is Piano Concerto in F. I think it's also Allegro Agitato by Gershwin. And as you can hear, it's a very upbeat composition on the piano. And yeah, I, I might sound like a snob, but I became a fan of Gershwin after seeing Manhattan by Woody Allen. It's filmed in black and white, and during that intro, you get that emotional attachment to the city of New York even though you have never seen it. It has that power of just making you feel like you also belong to that world and it's the perfect immersion that you can have at the beginning of a movie because you're going to feel much more for the characters and you'll get the context. Uh, yeah, you should follow Thunder Games on Twitter, nice ad there. 
and I'm very much a sucker for stuff that has a narrative to it. So I would love if this had a gimmicky story about this ball that does stuff for Bitcoin. I also wish the game was a bit more vertical, so you'd have more action in terms of climbing and descending. To give you more chills, this this reminds me sometimes of Flappy Bird. If you know Flappy Bird, and of course you know it. It was a phenomenon in 2012 or something. And in itself, it wasn't a complex game. It was kind of a rip-off of multiple elements that the developer has borrowed from other games, but it was just so addictive. And this also can get addictive if you have the time for it and you can understand the mechanics. Oh man, ah, oh, I lost again. So if you can understand the mechanics, then this can be very good and actually give you a nice experience. So yeah, let me watch this video so I can get the tickets. Nice choice there. You can either give the dog a ball or a piece of meat and I'm pretty sure if you're a Bitcoiner who is into that carnivory diet movement that you will be making a very specific choice of these two. And I don't think it will be the tennis ball, even though playing tennis is good for your health. You'll give the dog something that is nutritious and full of protein. Now, I find it a bit unfair sometimes that you get advantages if you watch ads. On one hand, it's good for the developers because they have to pay Satoshis at the beginning of each day according to the high scores and the tickets that the players were able to make, but in hindsight, it just gives an unfair advantage to some players. Yeah, there should also be second lives or second tries if you fail. So you don't have to watch any kind of ad, you just get something. Like a power-up that you find maybe after a certain point in the level with a certain degree of randomness. I feel like this game can get so much better with proper optimization. And I, I got over ambitious there. I'm going to watch a film because... Because whatever. I want to make a high score and I have not been able to get more than 2000 points in quite a few tries. Oh, so I got messages on Twitch from Thunder Games. This is nice, so thank you. Super Mario rules all. Thanks for the feedback. The latest update has the combo text and the leaderboard. Yeah, I hope so. I look forward to that. And let's see if something else is happening on Twitter. Wait, I, I was supposed to do something else, I guess. Yeah, so I'm, I'm going to play two more games and then end the stream. I'm gonna do an experiment and instead of watching the phone screen, I will watch the computer screen which captures the footage. And it's kind of laggy, and as you can see, I just fell into the pit. Not the best choice there. But it's still fun. I can get the hang of this, actually. So, uh, instead of watching the phone screen where the action happens in real time, I'm actually watching the computer screen where it's kind of laggy and delayed but still fun 
This can add up an extra layer of challenge. Oh yeah, and this game definitely needs a badass soundtrack. Something to make you feel like, man, this is Bitcoin and this is so badass and this is awesome and I, I love this. And I can think of games that I love just because of the music. I remember I grew up playing NES games, so Nintendo Entertaining System. And 